Hi guys and welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go through the Turtles Mutant Mayhem Pizza Fire Van. On time delivery guaranteed. This one has got pizza launching action. Can't wait to crack this one open for you guys. But we'll go through all the little box art for this initially first off. So on the front you have got on the side here... All the turtles, the actual picture of the van itself, and I'll say with the little pizza throwing action there going on. If we flip it over, again it's the same type of picture on the top. Couple of things on the sides there, so it's got launch up to eight fresh pizza pies. On the other side, it does state it actually fits all your turtle figures. And then on the back, it's got two little cross cells here. So it says, push the pizza slice, whatever that means at the top. So deploy the actual, ah, push the pizza slice to deploy the actual launcher. And then fire your pizzas on the top corner here it's got pizza fire van these turtles deliver justice and pizzas on time guaranteed get all the turtles assembled and load them into your new pizza van with the van's mobile pizza launcher they will combine turtle power and pizza power to blast the baddies into submission and there you go again there's a poor little beep up there getting slapped by a pizza it's got a little tiny writing here which the camera may not pick up as well. So you've got vehicle battle grips, a giant pizza to launch activation, front and rear entry. What's this one? Motorized pizza launcher, high traction wheels. But let's crack this big boy open and let's have a closer look. So you are going to need to assemble this yourself. It's all like tied up securely. There is a sticker sheet. Um, another little baggie with all the wheels in the back there. Another little baggie with the pizza slices. A um, few little bits and bobs. Uh, the pizza as well. And then it's got the grill on the top. So let me just get all this set up. And I will come back to you in a moment. I thought it'd best just film this bit. With the wheels itself. It's got this big peg on the side there. And the big peg holes. It's literally. You would just need to push. Until it clips in. And once that's in it's in. Okay guys, that was all the stickers applied and all the bits of gadgets stuck to it. So it, all of these little blue things were all separate. The frame was separate, the lights were separate. I can't stand doing the stickers. I wish they would already be put on. It was a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a chore. Some of these little pieces, oh, because they're so thin and flimsy, they don't really stick into the peg, although they stick into the peg holes. So I'm lying on that one. They do stick in, but they will easily just pop out. So it may be going round later on, again with a touch of little super glue in all the little, the fiddly bits, just to stick them in right. The back uh, door of this as well, you can see the gap at the back. It, lit it doesn't click. It literally does not want to stay put and click in. I don't know whether that's just an issue with mine. So drop a comment, guys. Uh, uh, have you got this? And um, does your door click shut? So, but this one, it's just... It's a bit wobbly and a bit wonky. There is just no way it is click and shut for me but that's the the least of me troubles with this other than that 
it does look pretty good. The big massive pizza on the top, if you push this, this door will open and bump the pizza thrower will pop out. Now this pizza thrower it does require uh, three AA batteries which is just screwed little tiny screw at the bottom and they go in there you've got all these little tiny gadgets on here which do move as well you've got little tiny handles a little like shooter or an aim type of thing there's a little on and off switch which we will get to that in a moment and then this is just it does angle up and down a touch as well but let's just push that in for a moment and I'll take it on a 360 so you've got obviously stickers these are all the ones that you had to apply there was some already there like this big drawn pizza sign which is a bit I think it's really good this one I do like this although it's like a child's Jordan I think it's quite cool these little wings were already stuck on there as well actually but the majority of them the rest of them has got pizza time there you have to stick all these lights on the um, the number plate where it's got extra cheese there on the other side it already had the tail power sticker stuck on but you had to put the other window on and this pizza rules sticker that you had to put that on and then on the front so this is not a sticker this is like a decal that's already been put on there but you had to put all these little tiny lights on going around the headlights these other little tiny lights you had to do all of that yourself okay so on the back you've got these little tiny blue handles and you've got t little tiny uh, ledges now you notice these have got little pegs so that'll be for actually to fix your figure on with the actual door shut if it stays shut for you now it says you can fit all your figures all your turtle figures in the back we'll go ahead and do that in a moment but if we just push this pizza back down again and bring out the shooting pizza action so we'll switch this on now where it's aimed let me just push this back a bit uh, if we bring a figure in so poor little beep bop is going to take the hit on this one hopefully so let's angle it down switch this thing on now I am sure it's just maybe this red thing so if we angle down so as we angle this down let's just give a little push on this little red button here bump oh over his head oh over his head <laughs> let's get a let's try another one um, let's get leather head is he a bit taller let's angle it down a bit oh yeah there you go shot him <laughs> boom there you go the bloody everywhere but yeah I can hear some little kids at Christmas getting shouted at now stop chucking pizzas at your little brother Where? so there's is a little Michelangelo he's really tiny in that one but the little spy hole the little eyeglass goes perfectly in line with his eye so I think we will leave him in that one Leo we will put him in the front we'll put Raphael in the front with him I'll just take his little sides out slide him in his holder let's see we 
Will he go behind the wheel? Yep. Round the back. Let's just slide Mikey in there at a moment. Let's see if all the, the baddies will go in the back. Oh, there's one. I doubt it. Two. Three. So, three in the back. And then remember you've got these little pegs and grippers. So they've got these little holes in the feet, haven't they? So with the three baddies in the back there, we've got Leatherhead, we've got Bebop, we've got Rocksteady. So we've got Raphael driving at the front. I've swapped Leo because there's two handles at the back. So we've got Leo and Donatello on the back there, keeping that secure. We've got Superfly on the top of the van and there's little bars here and you can actually hang others off there. So we've got Splinter also on the side. And again, if we just push down on the pizza, let's see if that boom, boom it does open the whole fly off like, but it does open. There you go. So there it is guys, there's my little review of the pizza van, pizza fire van, from the Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Drop us a comment, what do you think of this, have you got it obviously? So does your, let me know, does your, the back door on yours, does it close properly? Or is it mine, it just for some reason, it's not fitting in there. But there's the full review, that's the last one of this, uh, well at least of this wave, that has came out. Hopefully there will be others coming in the future, of the, at least in the four and a half inch rain, like April O'Neil as well at least. But while you are dropping them comments in guys, because I really want to know your thoughts on this, drop us the like, drop us the sub. Hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks again for checking in, guys. And have a good one next year. And I will see you soon. Take care.